The King meets the Dominion delegates whose conference shapes the future of the Commonwealth. Everett of Australia, Robertson of Canada, Lowe of South Africa, Fraser of New Zealand, Nehru of India. On the greatest problem facing the British Commonwealth, Australia's John Beasley says... Australia has seven and a half million people. Britain has more than 48 millions. This is a very big difference. And Australia feels that the excess of population in Britain should be redistributed among the other countries of the British Commonwealth. We are certain that it will strengthen the British Commonwealth of Nations as a whole. Four out of every five Britons live and work in cities, in cities short of living space. To maintain an average living standard, their drive to export is intensified. For many, life is too restricted. Increasing numbers look to the empire for their future, and the emigrant's reason is always the same. Because my husband thought there was better opportunities for work out there. Here is the problem in terms of living space and population. On a small island of less than 100,000 square miles, almost 50 million people. Less than half that number provides the white population of the whole of the vast dominions. Canada, the biggest dominion, needs millions more industrial workers to exploit its unlimited resources for the world's benefit. Australia remains the most thinly populated country in the world. Yet from its harbours flows the surplus of a fertile continent to feed Britain, the mother country being unable to produce from her own fields enough for half her people. With a climate ranging from temperate to subtropical, Australia grows everything. In South Africa and self-governing Rhodesia, the land possibilities have hardly been tested. Incalculable stores of mineral wealth and power are wasted through lack of skilled men and women to exploit them. In the wide lands of the Rhodesian Plateau, a handful of British pioneers have laid the foundations of new towns where a full and spacious life surrounds them. What they have done, others can do to solve the problem of the Commonwealth. Its future lies in the migration within a few years of skilled men and the industries they run to these lands of opportunity.